Today, we will be taking a look at not one, not two, not three, but four individual puzzles. So, let's get right into it. First up, this is a Chi Mini 3x3, measuring at 30 millimeters or 3 centimeters across, and it costs less than a dollar. However, I got this free from the cubicle as part of a sale going on at the time of recording. If you want a good Mini 3x3, I'd recommend the GAN 330, which we'll look at in a second. As you can see, it has stickers atop a white plastic. Very interesting, as I don't any own any white plastic puzzles. If I open this up, you'll see that there are holes in the plastic, and some pieces are not filled in, which makes it look very cheap. Although, I suppose it is. The turning on this is quite bad, but let's go ahead and do a solve on it. Alright, there we go, that's scramble. Take my timer. Inspection. Sub one minute. Bet I could. Uh, I bet I could break a few world records with this. No, but this puzzle is quite bad. But I guess you get what you pay for. So let's take a look at the GAN 330. This is the GAN 330 Easter Edition, a modified 330 with translucent purple plastic. It comes with this nice keychain attached, so you can take it on the go and not lose it. Attach it to your bag or whatever. And it disconnects. The 330 gets its name like the 356 in that it is the 3x3 that measures 30 millimeters. These translucent purple pieces are very cool and give me 90s Nintendo vibes. The turning on this is much better than on the GE 30 millimeter we just checked out, and it even feels better than some full-size 3x3s I've tried. It is not magnetic, although very smooth, and feels like a GameCube should. If you want a solvable 330, there is a regular edition with stickerless plastic that you can pick up for the same price as this one. At the cubicle.us, both are $6.99, but if you buy the special edition from GAN, either from their website or their Amazon store, it will cost $9.99, but a special Easter box is included compared to the regular packaging at the cubicle or speaking shop. You can pick up stickers for this 330, but I don't know why you'd want to cover this up. Overall, it's a very nice collection item, in my opinion. I know you're all here for the X-Men Designs Tornado, but first I want to take a look at the Square One. This is a Mystic Vault V2M Square One from the Cubicle Pro Shop. It measures in at 54mm by 56mm and costs $29.99, which is $10 more than the regular Vault. At first, I was quite frustrated with this puzzle, but after some break-in, and learning the puzzle's functionality, I was very impressed with it. This video is not sponsored, but I must say that I really loved how the Mystic Lubricant felt. It's super smooth and very fast. If you've paid attention to any of my YouTube shorts, you'll know that this is the most confusing puzzle in my collection, and I stand by that. Anyways, the colors are nice, although I was disappointed at how scratched up this arrived. The top layers are somewhat stiff, but the slices are very fast and make for an interesting feel. Being a pro shop cube, it came with these accessories. I'll do a quick solve on this and give you my final thoughts on it.
So I'll admit, I do have to look at tutorials and algorithms right now to be able to solve this puzzle, but I really like it. It feels great even to a squatty amateur like me. I've been trying to solve this a lot and my best time with it is 3 minutes and 14 seconds, which isn't great by any means, but I just started learning it. I'm sure pros will also appreciate it, although I've heard the MTC Square 1 that's $20 is extremely good as well. I haven't tried it yet, but if you have, let me know in the comments. I would highly recommend the Mystic Vault V2M Square 1 puzzle, except I don't recommend its name. bag. I want to talk about this bag real fast. I think it's really nice. Like, it, it's embroidered, it's got the cubicle patch on it. They did the same thing with the Mystic bag you might have seen. Feels very high quality. Fine, fine. See, here. Here's your Tornado V2M. Done looking at the other stuff, okay? You can see it now. Okay, but I do really like this puzzle for a few different reasons that I'm going to go over. And I do apologize for the reflections of my light. Um, I can't really do anything about it. But this is the X-Man Designs Tornado V2M. It is $24.99, measures at 54 and a half millimeters, and weighs 73 grams. It is quite small as many puzzles are 56 millimeters, but I actually prefer the smaller size. I did cover this puzzle in my very first Speed Cube News episode back when it was on pre-order. Taking a look at the box here, it is a very nice box, although mine arrived sort of crunched up. The new X-Men Designs logo looks amazing, and so does this symbol for Tornado on the side. I'm guessing that's Chinese, but it looks very cool. Uh, opening up the box, it is well laid out. Microfiber cloth for cleaning. On the left here, we have the puzzle inside of a carrying case, and on the right is an accessories box. So we're going to take a look at the puzzle first. Set this to the side. So taking a look at the puzzle here, it fits snugly inside of the typical Chi carrying case we've seen on other cubes. It has a frosted gloss texture, as I'm going to call it. It's sort of glossy, but has the grip of a frosted matte. Uh, I do like this texture, and I'm hoping it lasts longer than the frost on my GAN 11 and Pro. The internals are black here, and I heard this was a play by G so that it did not match the Vulk, which has primary internals. I'm cool with that. No, I think black internals look much better and much higher quality than primaries do. The turning on this is very smooth, and the puzzle is surprisingly quiet. Um, I have the magnet set to 3, which is a medium strength that I'll get to in a minute. Right out of the box, I was blown away by the performance of the Tornado V2. It was slightly too fast, so I put a few drops of Nebula Lubricant in it to slow it down. I'll do some solves later and give my final thoughts, so let's take a look at the accessories. Alright, so take a look at this here. Get this box. Very nice packaging for a $25 cube. Alright. Take that out of there, that's the receipt. So here we have our instruction pamphlet. Uh, this just goes over the tension and the magnet adjustments, but I'll also go over that. Your Chi Tornado uh, CFOP pamphlet. also get this special collector's card, which I know this has been happening uh, quite more frequently with GAN cubes and like the MS cube. It also comes with this white leather bag with a red X-Men Designs logo on it, which is quite a nice bag. I've never seen a leather bag before. And it comes with this handy tool for adjusting tensions and magnets. Right now it has the tension tool on it, but we, if we pop this off, it also has tools to adjust the magnets. I'm not sure what the Phillips screwdrivers are for, but the flathead is for magnets. One of the reasons I really like this is the simplicity of the adjustments. Some systems, like the GES or MS cube, can be very confusing to set up. 
This has two adjustments, center axis distance and spring tension. A turn counterclockwise here will adjust the axis distance and a turn clockwise will adjust the spring tension. I love to see this design and hope to see it in more cubes. You can see there, there are some numbers on the inside. A turn counterclockwise will adjust the inner numbers, which is your axis distance. So I personally have mine set to two. And then the outside numbers are your spring tension, which a turn clockwise will do. And there's a little notch in there that you want these numbers to line up with. So I usually have mine set to three and you can see that the three is lined up with the notch. The other adjustment you can make on here is the magnets. There are five settings with dots, plus and minuses, the plus being the strongest, the minus being the weakest. Using the flat head, you can easily click the magnets into place. So that would set it to the minus. I personally set it to three as I think that five is too strong and one, I can't even feel the magnets. There, are, these adjustments are on the edge pieces and you need to change each individual side, but it doesn't take too long. So I do want to mention I've been learning beginner OLL and PLL, so my times here probably won't be as fast. But this cube is incredible in performance, value, looks, and simplicity. For $25, you're getting a great cube that's fast and controllable. I've been using it for a few days now and it has seemed to get slightly louder, but it's not a big deal. The tension adjustment is great and I like everything about it, except the logo. I know I was praising it earlier and the logo itself does look great, but on my cube, and I've heard it's very common, it is so slightly misaligned from being straight that it annoys me. Altogether very good, except a petty complaint that no one will likely notice, and won't affect yourselves. I'll be maining this cube for the foreseeable future as a switch from the 11 and Pro. I don't want to waste any more of your time, but I do want to mention I'll be doing a Q&A session. Please leave your questions below before next Wednesday, June 30th, 2021. I'll pick out the ones I like if we get enough, and do a quick vid on it next week. Also, Speed Cube News will now be a bi-weekly series, but there is one coming up Monday. So if you enjoyed and want to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Leave a like too if you want. Alright, have a good day, and I'll see you later.